Hey coders and welcome to a brand new season of our Google Apps Script course. In this playlist we're going to be covering the JDBC service starting out with this introductory episode where we'll be detailing exactly what JDBC is and how to use it within your own Apps Script projects. So JDBC is an acronym for Java Database Connectivity, which is an industry standard API used by Java applications to connect to external relational databases, issue out queries and commands using SQL, and then handle the result sets ensuing from those queries. Now I mentioned before that JDBC was a Java API. But don't worry about having to code in Java. Luckily, AppScript have, has provided a wrapper around this API. So now you can use many of the same methods in the original JDBC API using JavaScript. What this means is that now you can code and write and use your familiar JavaScript to create connections to relational databases, execute SQL statements, and parse SQL results sets. Now I want to run this playlist slightly different than how I've done it in the past. Instead of sprinkling practical demonstrations throughout the episodes of this season, I want to reserve one big practical demonstration for the end of the playlist and then in the episodes preceding that finale, I just want to give no frills straight to the point how to use the methods, the most important methods of the JDBC service in those episodes. Now I'm open to feedback. If you like how I did it before more than how this playlist is run, be sure to comment down below. But if you like how this new playlist is set up, be sure to give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well. Now to make sure that we're all starting from the same starting block, let's jump on in over to the code and authorize the JDBC service to run on behalf of our project. Because of the new season, I've gone and created a new project in App Script and titled it Season 16. And now we have this blank canvas to write beautiful code in. But before we can start utilizing the JDBC service, we're going to need to authorize it to run on this project's behalf. JDBC is an extremely powerful service that allows you to connect to databases located around the world and then access millions of rows of data within those databases. So we're definitely going to want to authenticate it and make sure it is authorized on a per project basis. All right, so the way to authorize it is to simply access its parent class and then run one of these methods. I'm just going to pick this one at random. So after we have that written, we can save it and run it. That's going to run, but it's going to realize that we don't have authorization yet. So we just need to do this one time at the beginning of every project. And then so we'll hit review permissions. We've seen this before in previous playlists. We'll go ch choose this account. And then now we're going to have to verify that it is indeed me. And so I haven't done this in a while, so it uh, looks like I'm going to need to send a text message to myself. I'll go look at my phone right now. I'll type in the code. All right, so after we have typed in the code, then we know how to do this. We'll go to advanced, go to season 16. And it looks like season 16 wants to manage the data in our Google SQL service instances. So we're going to allow that because we know what code we are writing within this project. We know that's all safe. And there we go. So we have just now authorized the JDBC service to run on our behalf. Again, we got an exception just because we haven't actually written a, 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 a database URL right here. But we'll do that in the very next episode and we'll learn how to actually make that connection to a cloud SQL database. All right, that's going to be it for this video. But if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I hope you learned something from this and I hope you're excited as I am for the remainder of this playlist. All right, guys, I'll see you in the very next episode.